In this lesson, we will learn how to create real-time previews of our animations with Playblast. We can't always rely on the playback speed in Maya to determine if our animations are playing back at the correct frame rate, especially as our scenes get heavier and we start to notice performance issues. So when that happens, it's best to create a Playblast, which is a real-time preview. We can find this tool under the Window menu. Here it is. Let's go to our option. Take a look at the entire sequence. Also, if you wanted to hide things like your camera name and the axis handle in your viewport, just to remove any distractions from your play blast, you can go ahead and turn off show ornaments. You could also change your format. So right now it's set to AVI. You can go ahead and use QuickTime. I work with image, so we'll have a look at the F check window once the play blast is done rendering. Let's also change our encoding type to Maya. This will give us a really good quality and it will also give us a very fast render. Nice. I'll set the scale to one so we have a large enough view to work with. So once the display size is set to from window and once our scale is set to one, it's basically using the same size we see here in the viewport. Nice, but you can go ahead and change that to, let's say, render settings or custom settings if you'd like. I'll make sure this is set to from window. And then if you'd like to save your play blast, you can go ahead and turn on save the file. I'm not going to go ahead and save it, but what I will do is click on play blast and I'll also pause the video. Now as it play blasts, You'll notice that the render will play back right in front of you. So what you could do is go ahead and use that time as it plays back slowly to kind of look for any areas that you might want to tweak before you actually see the play blast. So again, I'll go ahead and pause the video. When I come back, we'll have a look at our work. And here it is. I'll go ahead and hit the space bar to play the animation. Neat. So again, what we're seeing here is an actual render. We can see the animation play back at the right frame rate. So this is safe and from this we can say that hey maybe we need to fix this frame or that frame or perhaps everything is all nice and and well and we can go ahead and hand our file off confidently at that point. But do not neglect to create play blasts because the last thing you want is to have your scene handed back to you because of a simple problem that could have been fixed by simply doing a play blast. Neat. Now let me go ahead and show you a few tools we have here. So we have our playback controls at the top. We can go ahead and play the animation forward or in reverse if we'd like. We can go ahead and skip one frame at a time. We can jump to the very end or the very beginning. So we know what these options do. If we were to use the plus key on our number pad, we can use that to increase our frame rate. So as I start to play the animation back, you'll notice as we start to increase our frame rate, we'll most certainly see the speed difference. And then we could use the minus key to decrease our frame rate. So I'll go ahead and use that to set it back to 24 frames per second. Also, we can go ahead and scrub with the left mouse button, which I find to be super helpful to quickly go through frames, but in a way where I can really study the animation and then, if you'd like, you can go ahead and create notes on your frames. You'd use the right mouse button to do that. So what I'll do is go ahead and create a smiley face. Because I like to do that. <laughs> All right, sweet. How cool is that? Now, what if you wanted to clear this frame? Because you'll see that when we play through the animation, when we get to that same frame, we'll still see the note, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. But if it's a note that really doesn't do anything for us like this smiley face. If you'd like to go ahead and clear it out, just go ahead and move to the frame that it was created on, and then you can go to File and choose Revert. There we go. Fantastic. So in this lesson, we have learned how to create Play Blast. We also have learned why we'd want to create a Play Blast. Again, it can save us a lot of time, money, effort. We should go in and create Play Blast every once in a while just to check and make sure that our animations 
are looking nice at the correct frame rate. So that's it for this lesson. That's also it for this course. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.